on July 4th, the Honorable Minister Farrakhan delivered his message to Criterion in which he said, he declared to the world that we are not taking your vaccine. He declared to the world that this pestilence from heaven, the governments of this world will not get control of it. He said that it is a, a new virus. It's different, it mutates and goes in different directions with different strains of itself. And so they rolled out in warp speed. The vaccines or military technologies disguised as vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna and the virus keeps switching up. And so today, after the country has opened, and so many persons have been vaccinated, now this country is facing a third way, the Delta, very is upending the vaccine efforts. Now, as our great sister, the national spokesperson of the Honorable Brother Minister Farrakhan in the Nation of Islam, Dr. Ava Muhammad, in her great article in the Final Call newspaper, which is the best source for COVID-19 information as it relates to Black America in particular, the Final Call newspaper. Our dear sister, Dr. Ava, lets us know that we should not let talk of variants scare us. The Delta variant isn't more lethal than alpha or beta, but the Delta variant is more slippery as the honorable brother minister Farrakhan has predicted and what it has done is upended. All hope in these vaccines because the pandemic, this third wave is smashing not just the unvaccinated, but this third wave is smashing the vaccinated. Here in Illinois, for example, since January, almost 200 fully vaccinated persons have died from COVID-19. 650 fully vaccinated persons have been hospitalized here in Illinois. In Los Angeles County, listen to what's going on in Los Angeles County. California is on fire. This is after the country celebrated the victory of President Joe Biden and the opening up of the country and the mask is off and people are lollapalooza -ing again. Out in Los Angeles County. Listen to what we read from the Los Angeles Times. It says, quote, 
coronavirus case and hospitalization rates are worsening for Los Angeles County's black residents. A troubling sign less than a month after California fully reopened its economy. Between May and between mid-May and mid-June, the COVID-19 case rate over a two-week period rose 18% among black residents, but declined 4% for Latino residents, 6% for white residents, and 25% for Asian Americans. So in Los Angeles County, everybody else, their rates are declining, but uniquely black residents in Los Angeles County, our incidence rates are increasing 18%. You would want to attribute that, the fact that Black residents in LA County are roughly three times as likely as white residents to be diagnosed with coronavirus. I know some would want to attribute that to the fact that Black people are not getting vaccinated. However, we learned that it is the vaccinated as well as the unvaccinated in Los Angeles County that is contracting the virus, being hospitalized and dying. Over 25% of new COVID-19 cases in Los Angeles County are fully vaccinated people, one quarter. We learned that over a period of July 1st to July 16th, a two week period, 3,000 fully vaccinated persons were diagnosed with COVID-19. In a, over a two week period, over 3,500 fully vaccinated persons of Los Angeles County contracted the virus. But this is a global phenomenon. The media talk of the pandemic of the unvaccinated, that is a myth. The vaccinated globally are contracting this virus, are being hospitalized by this virus, and are dying of this virus. Israel faces, we learn, a COVID surge as the virus circulates even among the vaccinated. Listen. Public Health England said that 23% of its new COVID cases are among fully vaccinated persons. In Singapore, three quarters, three quarters of the coronavirus cases in Singapore are among the fully vaccinated. In Israel, 60% of hospital COVID-19 hospitalizations are among the fully vaccinated. This isn't a pandemic of the unvaccinated. This is the upending of the false vaccination effort. The current state of the virus, which is out of the control of the governments of this world, the current state of the virus is totally upending this so-called vaccine or vaccination effort. 
I will close my comments with this.